Hello everyone and welcome to Brave Souls Rewind. Byakuya Week. Today I'll be taking a look at one of the newest iterations, Lost Stage in Byakuya, or Full Ring Byakuya to some. He doesn't have a full ring. And figuring out whether some of his builds are still viable or not. First, let's take a look at the Nat build. To be honest, I was excited for this build because while he does seem to have a little bit short range, he does have that vortex move that hurts and stops enemies if they're near you. He also has a pretty decent attack as well as a plus 30 bruiser. So I was really rooting for this build. Unfortunately, it let me down. He does do a decent amount of damage, but his range is pretty poor. And while it is a viable build if you're pretty good at dodging, like most people are, it's really not a build that I would recommend for Byakuya at all. Especially because to get a decent amount of damage for this build, you'd have to equip Chappy, which sacrifices your SP, as well as Byakuya's Link. Next up, we have the Strong Attack Damage build. Initially, I thought this build was not going to be good. He doesn't have Frenzy, his SP is pretty low, and he has a Vortex move which historically does not do that much damage. But I was pleasantly surprised by it, which is good because I was really hoping it'd be a good build. He does have that 25 strong attack damage link, and while he doesn't have Frenzy, he does have a plus 40 Berserker, effectively increasing his own strong attacks by 65% just by himself. So yeah, I think this build worked out really well. Part of the reason is because his attack is high enough to do some decent amount of damage while you wait for the strong attacks to recharge. This build also makes for pretty good vortex slash normal attack combos. This is due to the fact that Byakuya has a really good link for his strong attacks, as well as 670 attack that it doesn't have to sacrifice. So yes, I'm gonna say this is a viable build. Finally, we have the strong attack recharge build. I actually didn't have an opinion going into this one, because I didn't really know what to expect. After all, the reason he did so well in the strong attack damage build, despite having low SP, is because of all the strong attack damage links. But I'm still gonna say this is a viable build. Sure you didn't do as much damage with your strong attacks, but it was still enough to take out low level mobs. And as for the stronger, tankier enemies, they get taken down pretty easily with another strong attack or just hitting them a few times with your normal attack. So I'm gonna say this build is viable. And probably the most fun out of the three. Though I still wanna say that the strong attack damage build was the most effective. So there you have it, that's Lost Age in Byakuya. I did find it strange that his normal attacks contributed so much to his strong attack damage build, as well as his strong attack recharge build, yet the actual normal attack damage build isn't too great. Once again, I want to thank Endless for helping me out with this video. You should really go sub to her if you haven't, because if you don't, I will cry. That said, I want to thank everyone for watching, and I hope you're enjoying Byakuya week.